Hey everyone, this is a new video based upon Git branching strategy. If you are new to my channel, hit subscribe. Your subscription will motivate me to produce more video in better quality. So before we proceed, I request you to watch my earlier video on basic terms in Git. If you haven't watched them, I will be providing the URL in the video description. Just do watch and come back to this video. The first strategy which we are going to see is GitHub flow. So this is how a GitHub flow will look like. You will have a main branch and this is a stable branch and you won't make any direct commit into this main branch. This branch we always maintain in such a way that it is always ready for deployment. In case if you want to make any changes in the main branch, you need to create a future branch from main branch. In that future branch, you are free to make any changes. You are free to do mistakes. You are free to revert back those changes. You are free to test. So you can do everything in the future branch. Whatever you do in future branch, it is isolated and it will have no impact on the main branch. Once the testing is looking good, you can create a pull request to merge them to the main branch. Once pull request is approved, you can merge these changes to the main branch. Now let me show how you can do it. So here if you see this is our repository and if you just click on this drop down you will get to see what are the repository available in this project and this is where our branches will appear as of now only one branch is there and here we have two files in our repository so this is a simple text file and here if you see file lines are there and my requirement is just to add one more line here but it is not recommended to make any changes directly in main branch so in order to make any changes just click on this and click on new branch and let me name a branch so this is the name I am going to provide for my branch and this is based upon main branch which means it will create a copy of main branch let me create it a new branch got created you can play with it you can make any changes you want you can test it so let me make a change I just added a line let me commit it only if you commit then only your changes will get saved so let me go to history here if you see updated text file dot text so this is the comment appearing here and if you go to main branch you can't see those changes because that is specific to only the future branch now I mean future branch you need to test everything in this particular branch well so once you are confident with your changes just submit a pull request in pull request what you will get to see is here you will it will list out what are the files you are going to make change and what are the changes so plus means you have included a line minus means uh, a line have been removed and here you will have your commit details and now reviewer so in case if you want to add any reviewer just provide it over here and let me create it so technically um, you will provide your a TL uh, name here so that TL will re review your changes so let me create it so pull request is created still the changes is not yet merged to main branch so what the reviewer will do reviewer will come here he will get to see the same screen so they will just see what are the changes once it looks good they will approve that's it now the developer wants to come to the same pull request and just click on complete so how we want to perform this um, merge squash commit means even though if you have multiple commits in the history of main branch it will show you a single commit so you can select whatever you want and here if you see this is the delete future branch meaning like what are the branch you have created right do you want to delete it after merge actually you should do because just think this the sole purpose of this branch is to make changes and to merge it to main branch since after merging there is no use for this particular branch it is good to delete then and there so I just selecting this option and complete the merge so merge is still in progress let's wait yeah it got completed let me go back here and now if you go to history you will get to see that and if you just click on it you will get to see that line as well and here if you see that future branch got deleted so this is how you will make changes now let's get back to our slide and now if you see here we have made a single change so parallelly multiple users can create their own future branch and they can start working on it 
once all the changes have been verified they could merge back to master i mean whenever i say master or main both are same and at this point all the features have been merged to main branch and we are good to deploy to the low environment or even to prod so once deployment is done the user have found out a issue so in that case what you could do is you could create a bug branch the creating a bug branch is same as what you did to future branch just name it like bug so that it uh, it will help you to identify it so create a bug branch make those changes test it out then merge it back to main so this is how github flow will work this is perfect for a team which is having continuous delivery meaning like frequent releases and this is perfect for smaller teams who is following agile methodology if you are new to git you can just start with github flow now just assume like you have 200 developers or 500 developers and they will be making like hundreds of pull requests to main branch so in that case it will be too difficult to maintain right so for larger team how we can manage this and this is where microsoft release flow comes into picture and with this flow only microsoft itself is developing their own products and softwares so in microsoft release flow you will have a same main branch so whenever you want to make any changes you will create a feature branch work on it test it and you will merge back to master branch but when it comes to deployment alone what they will be having is they will have a separate release branch which will be created from main branch once they once the required features have been added they will create a new release branch so this branch will never get merged back to main branch by this way you will maintain a version of it so in case of iphone you have ios 14 ios 15 right so likewise you will have a versioning and here if you see in the first release you have only one feature and you are mid of creating a second feature so this second feature will not be available in the first release and if you see here this both of the feature will be available in the second release which is 02.25 i'm just keeping this kind of version means 02 means month and 0.25 means year so it's a kind of monthly release now let's talk about what if the deployment having issue let's say for example you have some typo issue so on the ui instead of microsoft you just type as microsoft or there is some bug which is preventing from opening a pop-up so in that case what you need to do is you need to create a bug branch based upon main branch and you could think why not create a bug branch from release itself because the issue is happening in release branch only right because for further release you will be creating branches from main branch only right so it could reoccur in future as well future releases as well so also just think you are in a prod environment and there is a bug so you will be in a stressful state and there is a higher chance you, you may forget to push those changes to main branch so that is why it is always recommended to work in upward direction just create a bug branch from main branch and make the changes test it so once everything is done just merge it to main branch and create a cherry pick to pick up only those specific commit to the release branch and just remember that main branch is a long-lived branch and release branches are used for versioning future branches and bug branches are short-lived branches and the next is git flow strategy so here along with main branch you will create one more branch on top of main branch which we call it as develop branch and here both main and develop branch are long-lived branch once you create a develop branch you will create future branch from develop branch only and you will develop your features and you will merge it back to develop branch itself once the required features have been added or when you feel it is the right time to release these changes you will create a release branch in the release branch you will be doing testing in case if you found any issue you will fix only those bugs in the release branch in the release branch you won't add any additional feature once it has been created so once everything have been tested you will be deploying 
that to your environments and you will be merging the changes in the release branch into main branch and as well as develop branch because you might have made some bug fixes uh, in the release branch and if you notice in the main branch we will be creating a tag as well just to uh, mark like this is the first version of it and let's say for example after deploying to production you found a issue meaning like the application is breaking or you found some issue which need a hotfix so in order to do it what you will do is you will create a hotfix branch from the main branch and you will make those changes test it out and you will merge back to main branch and you will cherry pick those ch changes into develop branch as well and the same process continue for further releases as well uh, this strategy will shoot for team which is having long releases and there is higher possibility that you could have uh, you know missed to merge these changes in one of these developer main branch and it is prone to error so make sure you are uh, fixing all those changes in both main and develop branch and next and finally we have gitlab flow and this is how gitlab flow will look like you will have main branch and future branch so main branch is long lived branch and future branches are short lived so only for making changes you will have future branch and after that it will get deleted and now the main difference here is for deployment purpose here you will have a branch for the environment itself so initially itself you will create a pre pro branch based upon master branch and you will have production branch as well and once the features have been committed to the main branch you will just merge your changes from the main branch into pre pro branch and in pro in pre pro branch you will deploy it you will test it and let's say for example if you identify any issue just like the earlier one you will create a bug branch from main branch you will fix it and you will just merge them to main and uh, pre pro branch so once everything looking fine you will merge those changes into the production branch and later you will deploy to production as well so in case if you want to uh, create some tag you can do so i will tell uh, about git tag in a detail in a separate video and at this point hope you got a clear idea of these three met methodology so you can pick anything which is suitable for your team in upcoming videos i will be elaborating about the deployment process so subscribe and wait for my next video bye bye